What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a very simple job. We're changing the drive handle on a TB370 self-propelled lawnmower. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, like I said, we're changing the drive handle, self-propel handle, whatever you want to call it on this uh, TB370 self-propel mower. Doing a full tune-up on it, but I uh, came in with this handle that was broken. This is a very simple job. Any one DIY or homeowner with some basic hand tools, a couple hand tools, uh, can change this out on your own. So I'll show you how to do it. First thing you need is a T27 Torx. We've got two bolts right here, right here on both sides of this uh, cover here. We'll remove those. Once we remove those, kind of lift up from the bottom and then get it off the handle on the top. Get that cover pulled off. Now once you've got that pulled off, you can push on the side of the bale to release it from the hole. Pull it out from the other side of the hole and now that is released. Pull the broken piece off the side. It's trash, you can pull this piece off the side. Make sure to set that aside, remembering which side goes where. Now, we've got to pull these two cables out. So first pull the spring out of the little hole there. And it looks like we might have to reuse that little metal spacer on this one. Doesn't come with that. Um, and then the cable, we'll have to pull that cable out just goes like that. Looks like it's worn out a little bit. If yours is still in there pretty tight, you just press down on these two little tabs and get some uh, small needle nose pliers or something, press down on those tabs and then it will pop out. Um, this one was worn out a little bit and so it just slid out, but press down on those tabs, pull the cable out and you're good to go. I need to actually save that. Let me grab that again, pull the spacer out. Okay guys, so this is this, the little bushing I was talking about that the cable goes into. I just used a punch to hammer it out. Make sure to take that out of the old one and we'll install it in, into the new one. That way the cable actually fits into it properly and it doesn't flop around and fall out easily. So here's the new handle. This spacer, you've got the ridge here that the bale goes into. This spacer is going to go into the top hole, just like the old one. And that doesn't sit in there very tightly. I'm gonna have to figure that out. All right guys, so this little bushing in here that holds the cable, it was too loose for the hole. It is, not, it is not a separate part on the parts diagram. So you do have to use the one that comes on the old one. So what I did is I went ahead and used some uh, JB Weld type stuff um, to kind of lock it in place. Had to let it dry, so I did that, that all off camera. Do what works best for you if yours is too loose. It should be a press fit in there. I had to punch it out on the other one, uh, but do what, do what works best for you but I got it in there now, uh, but it will need to be in there. This, this hole right here is just too, too large. The cable will just fall out and not do any good. So anyways, once you get that all set, um, then we're back to square one or back to where we start. So put this cable in there. 
put this cable up through the hole again and it should snap into place. And then set this down into place. And then this feeds through both the black handle, the black plastic. And goes into the black bar on the mower. Just gotta find the holes, line the holes up to where it originally went. There we go. So make, there's two holes here. There's this one, there's one up higher. Make sure to do the higher one, obviously, that we just found out. And it's, pr it's easier, if not undoable, once this is in to put this cable on the bale. So do that before you put it in. Okay, so that's good there. It's all working. This is working there. Now we're good to put the cover on. So slide it underneath the bale. Feed that over the top handle. Snap it down into place. Now you just put the two Torx screws back in. And there we go. Make sure everything works. It's all moving perfectly. And that's it. Got a new drive handle. Okay guys, that's how you install a drive handle on the TB370 self-propelled lawnmower. A couple times there I made it look a little more difficult than it should be, but it's a very simple job. You just need a T70 or excuse me, T27 Torx, um, a pair of needle nose pliers to get that cable out of the, you know, the little bracket. And you may need a punch and a hammer to get that little bushing out. You may need some some kind of uh JB weld or you know some kind of steel putty type deal to, to lock it in there but other than that it's a very simple job uh, to do and if you want to tackle it go ahead and give it a shot thanks for joining me today if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please think about subscribing and as always make a choice to have a great day thank you all for watching